I'm sure we all totally enjoyed that encouragement. Well now, at this point, you're probably thinking we said there was an adjusted understanding. You got that one? A lot of encouragement, yes. Then there was the one about the year text, yes. What was the other one? Well, we've come to the final talk. If we don't get it now, it's not going to come. <laughs> Remember we said an adjustment to the way we do our ministry. So with eager anticipation, we look forward to hearing from Brother Anthony Morris, who will talk to us about making our blows count. We are involved in the greatest preaching campaign in all of history. We publish quality literature, 240 lands. It's amazing. However, we're not about seeking praise for the quality of our magazines or the hundreds of languages that we're translating in. What's our focus? Well, we want to imitate what the Apostle Paul wrote about himself and the governing body really wants this message to be clear to all of God's people that are preachers and teachers of the kingdom. So find what I'm referring to in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Describing his pursuit of the prize and it's quite profound when you reflect on it and you'll see where it fits every one of us that are dedicated to the true God verse 26 therefore the way I am running is not aimlessly the way I am aiming my blows is so as not to be striking the air so this, you can picture the running aimlessly. It's a waste of time and energy. Striking the air. A waste of time and energy. So the time left reduced. It's, the end is so close. And like I've told folks, if, if you look around and you don't see how different it is and how close it is, you must be in a coma. And that's okay, God can bring you out of a coma if you were all right before that. But the governing body's concerned with the limited time we have left that we make our blows count. So to truly make our blows count, what should be the focus of our work? We're not left without knowing how Jehovah thinks. It's been here all along, but sometimes we can individually, even organizationally, get distracted. Let's turn to Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13. And they were preaching there in the first century, and we get some results, and we also get uh, God's thinking on the matter and what he wants us to focus on. Acts 13, verse 48. When those of the nations heard this, this message, they began to rejoice and to glorify the word of Jehovah. Now notice, and all those who were rightly disposed for everlasting life became believers. There it is. That's the focus of our work. Searching for those rightly disposed for everlasting life. It's not complicated. And to try to help somebody that's not rightly disposed, frankly, is a waste of time. Now, we don't read hearts. We understand that people can change, and we continue with that. But overall, Jehovah wants us to understand, let's search out for those that are rightly disposed for everlasting life. Because no one comes to the truth, remember, as Jesus taught us, unless Jehovah draws him. 
uh, we don't want to get thinking our personality draws people to the truth. You, you might be likable, it's wonderful. Uh, however, Jehovah draws those rightly disposed. And you become friends and such if you have the privilege to study with people. But that's what it's about. Searching those rightly disposed ones. That's who he draws. Those that are righteously. He reads the heart. And so we're in this search where but we're looking to focus on those rightly disposed. So with that uh, clear, the governing bodies identified two problems. And this is what we want to pass on, and it can adversely affect our effectiveness in the ministry. And this is what we're about, a preaching and teaching organization. This is who we are. So, for many years, and we acknowledge it, uh, there was a focus on placing magazines, <coughs> developing magazine routes. It helped some come into the truth, no denying it, because our literature is the best on the earth. Others uh, have accepted our magazines for many years. Many years. And they've never done a thing about the truth. But they're still going back. And I'm coming back from the day of service. How many magazines you place? Now they mean well, God loves us, but excuse me. Uh, that's not the focus of our work. It has to refocus on what we're all about. And just think about it. Jesus commanded, go therefore and make disciples of people of all the nations. We don't have the authority to change what the head of the congregation has said and go along the lines of go therefore and place a lot of literature. That's not our focus. Even though it's the best on the planet, we're about searching for the rightly disposed so they can become disciples of Christ. And you know, these ones that have taken our literature for years, uh, and you know, as we said, individuals might change, they remind us of uh, what happened in Ezekiel's day. And, and some of you are Bible readers, scholars, if you will. But let's read it anyway in Ezekiel 33 and find what he faced. And we face this. It's a reality. So given the limited time, we have to make sure, and Jehovah's Spirit's moving us this way, that we accept this is the way it is. Uh, in our day as well. Now notice verse 31 of Ezekiel 33. 31 and 32. They will crowd in to sit before you as my people, and they will hear your words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they flatter you, but their heart is greedy for dishonest gain. Look, you are to them like a romantic love song, sung with a beautiful voice and skillfully played on a stringed instrument. They will hear your words but no one will act on them. That's every territory. And it's, you've worked it for many years, you can have faces come to mind, just like that. Come to occasional meetings and such. Well, time's running out. God's making that very clear to us. We need to help people come into the truth. We don't need to flatter and such. And, that kind of experience. This is a time for decision. We're looking for people that will act on what they learn. That's where our blows are going to be effective. People have to act on it. And if you're not seeing that, just get searching. And let the angels and Jehovah's Spirit take you to the rightly disposed ones. And something that we forget, um, our work is twofold. We can forget that sometimes. Uh, we're searching and bringing in the rightly disposed, and the others, we're praising and people need that. And those that are rightly disposed for everlasting life know they have problems. They're honest about it. And so this 
will touch their heart and Jehovah will draw them. Now what's nice about it is that you're going to be able to get very familiar with it, use it, and it'll become part of our permanent teaching toolbox. See, and that it'll go in the teaching toolbox. You know, even like these skilled craftsmen that have their toolbox, why are they so good at what they do in many cases? Because they keep using these tools. It's not rocket science. These are craftsmen with these tools. I need this, I need that, to accomplish what they need here. So we only need so many tools in the box. The ones that we can get very good at using. And what's nice, when it's in that permanent teaching uh, toolbox there, you, you're not changing all the time. You know, and, and was all that sincere? Yes, but I could tell you stories, but time's running out of some of the things I've heard on the ministry. Uh, I could tell they never read that. You know, but, but they're out there. God love them. They were knocking on doors with me. Uh, you get familiar with the tool. Now what we'll do, uh, we'll evaluate after two years, and it might be, let's see what the governing body decides, that we think we've got sufficient subjects in the magazines for the toolbox. And then we'll just reprint what's already been written. So you've got your tools. Okay. Now, you're gonna get more details on the teaching toolbox soon. And uh, you'll also be pleased to know this, that the brother's been working hard on this, there's going to be an update on the box, teaching toolbox, and the JW Library. And we love the JW Library. It'll be on the home page there. That'll be happening in the near future. And this question will arise now because territories are different. We understand that. What if you find that the teaching toolbox doesn't contain a tool that you have found effective in your territory, like a video that you think is and you've experienced effectiveness with it. It's okay. Put it in your favorite section. So, don't write in and say, I think this should be in the teaching toolbox. <laughs> We've gone through all of this at headquarters. Uh, it's okay. But you go ahead and put it in your favorite section and use it. Not a problem. Not a problem. Now, so that's covered those with the preaching and the focus of our ministry. And there's another adjustment that uh, I've been asked to announce here. Uh, we all enjoy the latest reports on the worldwide work that we have on JW.org and JW Broadcasting. We love it. And I know recently someone told me they didn't know about Venezuela. Well, it was on JW.org, but you don't want to try to make him feel bad. Uh, but there's so much we're getting uh, all throughout the year, and it's timely and a blessing. So with this in mind, the governing bodies decided that with all of the information on JW.org and JW Broadcast, that as of 2018, we will no longer produce the yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses. It's basically been the truth a long time, yes? The 2017 is your last one. So that's historic, but come on. Uh, <laughs> try to convince me you've seen everything we've put on JW.org and uh, JW Broadcast. See, God's watching. <laughs> You're well fed, you've got plenty there. <laughs> um, these uh, latest developments that are indeed exciting. And as the end fast approaches, let's honor Jehovah and make our blows come. Let's go forth and make disciples of people that are righteously disposed for everlasting life.
exciting announcement. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about this because we can see the end is so close and really isn't the main thing that we should be thinking about is helping people to know Jehovah. That's the prime goal. So the governing body is helping us to see how to have this toolbox. And we're all looking forward to see what's in the toolbox. And in addition to that, we've got a few other announcements to make. We'd like to inform you of some changes that are planned with regard to the study edition of the Watchtower. Now, since